Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. So the DJI Agris T25s hit the warehouse today, so it seems only proper to do an unboxing. Let's get right into it. So let's see what's in here. Look at that. So this might look like the regular radar that was on the previous models, but the internals of these radars are completely different. So these are the dual phase array radar systems, giving you that global obstacle avoidance. So it's going to be really good at picking up all the objects that are even remotely close to it, letting the pilot know before there's any kind of a problem. Got the tank here, nice strainer, it's pretty standard. Down in there. It's nice how they have the little string on there so you can't lose your cap. That would make a bad day. So we've seen all we can see from the top. Let's pull this box off and get a little bit more clear picture of what we have here. So we also just got the T50s here in the warehouse not that long ago. And just my first impressions looking at the T25, it looks like someone took a shrink ray and shrunk down a T50 because you have all that updated technology, all those new features in a nice compact portable package. Let me just grab some help so we can get this off the styrofoam and we can open it up. Actually, can we spin it? so that it's forward. Perfect. Thanks guys. So we've got the T25 out of the styrofoam on the bottom and right at the bottom here you're gonna see your RC remote controller. Pull that out. Oh she's, she's in there good. So here's the remote controller we'll get into that here in a little bit.
And these cam locks feel nice and solid with the tab underneath to make sure they can't come undone unintentionally. Really easy to engage the cam locks. Feels nice and solid. You also notice that the tubular arms seem a little bit more heavy duty. All right, let's get these open. The Agris T25 is great for small and medium sized plots or being used in conjunction with the T50, its big brother. It has a dry weight of 55.9 pounds without the battery, a spraying load capacity of 44 pounds, and spreading payload capacity of 55 pounds. Now let's do a 360 walk around around the T25 and I'll show you all the updates and features. So we've got the liquid tank on it right now, and like I said, the spraying payload capacity is 44 pounds. You also have the option to get a spreader conversion kit for it, and the spreading payload capacity is 55 pounds. So if you had the spreading tank on here, which is optional, there's also different size gates for the spreader that gives you different types of distribution. They can spread seed, fertilizer, and feed. So one of the big updates here on the T25 is it has front and rear phased array radar. It also has terrain following up to 50 degrees, so DJI has also doubled the RF channels for higher detection precision. And you can see here it has two sets of binocular vision on the front, and this allows for obstacle bypassing. You've also got a high resolution FPV camera. The T25 uses the DJI 03 transmission system. It has four antennas with an optional DJI relay to increase range. So this drone can be operated fully automatically or in manual operation mode. It has orchard mode and also variable rate application. So the aircraft comes with two sprinklers on the rear, but there's also an option to get sprinklers added to the front. And when flying in manual mode, you can use these sprinklers so you no longer have to do U-turns when you get to the end of your spraying lane. Let's talk about the 21% reduction in dimensions when it's unfolded. It's 4.8 by 2.2 by 2.6 feet with the props folded in. So the flow rate on these pumps has been increased by 33%. So you can spray 4.2 gallons per minute with two nozzles or 6.3 gallons per minute with four nozzles. It also supports side spraying. So that means whenever the drone does a U-turn, it's gonna spray the outside nozzle and shut off the inside. And that makes sure that you get the outsides of your field properly. And if you choose to get the optional spreading tank, you can now spray and spread in orchard mode. And if you look at the pumps in the back, these are magnetic drive impeller pumps with dual atomizing sprinklers. There's also a solenoid valve on the sprinklers so that when you stop spraying, none of your chemicals are gonna to continue to leak out. And right here, you can see the magnetic weighing system. So what this is gonna do is it's using magnets to weigh how much liquid is in the tank and it's gonna report that onto your remote controller. The Agris T25 has integrated aerial surveying with the FPV camera, spraying and spreading all in one compact package. For orchard aerial surveying, you can handle slopes up to 20 degrees, and you can map 12.3 acres of orchard in just 10 minutes. Now back to regular flat farm fields, for area route mapping, you can cover 32.1 acres in just 10 minutes. And if you wanted to do a boundary of that field, those 32.1 acres can be accomplished in just three minutes. Now let's check out this RC remote controller.
Here's every drone pilot's favorite part about a new aircraft, pulling that sticker off. So let's talk about this remote controller. You've got a high visibility, seven inch display with all the buttons that you're gonna need for your missions. Now this controller might look familiar, but I promise you all the internals are different. The joysticks feel nice and smooth. You've got all the buttons right at your fingertips here, a nice high visibility seven inch display, and on the bottom, there's a connection for a chest rig. The T25 uses the DB800 Intelligent Flight Battery that charges in nine minutes with the D6000i generator. It's warranted to 1500 charge cycles, and overall, the Agris T25 is lighter, more portable, and smarter. Join me in my next video when we take this out to the field and I show you all the features out there. If you have any questions, you can put those down in the comments. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. My name is Matt. Happy flying.